moment for an update on the traffic situation for those of you heading to the coast. On the weather front, today, bright, sunny and very warm, continuing throughout the weekend with perhaps a slight chance of thunder later tomorrow. News and travel on the hour in a moment, an update. Oh, Raj. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking when approximately six hours from now I should be leading my team against the strongest lineup in West Surrey. I'm thinking that last year I scored 37 not out against the buggers. That is, I played the definitive captain's innings and they hated me for it. I did me. I'm thinking that what I'm talking about is war. Mm, love you, Mim. Okay, fair enough. I love you too, darling. Mm. I did tell you that uh, thing of me. What's it? Um, oh, Jeremy's not playing. Oh, he hasn't let you down again, has he, darling? Oh, I don't know. It's so unfair. It really is. Yes, well, the point I'm trying to make, Miriam, is they shouldn't say they'll play if they've got no intention of playing. I play. Why can't they play? Tell them. Yes, well, if I start laying down the law, half of them won't bother turning up at all. I turn up, though, don't I, darling? Every week, home or away, I turn up. Oh, yes. But then you're the captain's wife. Oh, I see. Well, the truth is, if you didn't turn out, it wouldn't be the same, couldn't be? And you know why, don't you? Well, we're very lucky. We enjoy being together. There's that, yes. But not only that, Mim. Teams want to play us, and not just because of the game, but because of your teas. <laughs> yes, your teas are talked about throughout the entire South Western League. Well, not the entire South Western League, surely. <laughs> yes, what a combination, Amy. You, me, love you. OK, fair enough. Yeah, love you too, darling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dervish here. Paddy old son, how are you? You are playing today, aren't you? Super. Super. Now, what can I do for you, old son? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, 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 no trouble at all. You just hang on a sec, I'll call it out. <laughs> Bloody idiot's gone and lost the map I sent him. Oh, please don't do that, Roger. You know how it upsets me. Just give it to me, woman. Come along, chop, chop. Hello, Pad. Right. Now, you will get this down carefully, won't you? Because it gets a little bit tricky. Super. Now, the first thing you have to do is to get onto the motorway. I mean, that's exactly it, Rog. That's a perfect example. You spend all that time on cartography, all that money on photocopying, all that effort on distribution, just so they'll each have a decent map of exactly how to get there. And what happens? Half of them get thrown away, and the other half get torn up and used for telephone pads. And worse, I shouldn't wonder. So unfair, it really is. All right, OK, fair enough. Maybe I do take on more than my fair share. Yes. We're not talking about chaps at school, you know I me. Mean? We're talking about chaps, well, pretty much set in their ways. One wrong move and I could destroy everything I've built up over the past two years. It's a team, Mim. A fighting unit, if you like, and I am the captain. 
It's very fine balance. It's all psychology, of course. It means tact and diplomacy. And... Well, come along, come along, get this thing moving. You won't start. Do something. <laughs> like what, Roger? Oh, I don't know. You were a Boy Scout, weren't you? Improvise. <laughs> Improvise with what, Roger? Miriam, are you or are you not IC transport? Roger, that is most unfair, not at all constructive. Miriam! You see, Miriam? You see? As a matter of fact, yeah, just going through the door. What's the problem? <laughs> All right, that's it. Off you're off. Half past you, Sid. Yeah, it's a change of plan. We're giving Roger a lift. Roger? Roger, Roger the captain. Why are we giving him a lift? Because he asked for it, yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. Well? It's all right. All right. All right. It's bloody marvellous, you dozy great lump. Well, in my opinion, it could do with livening up a bit. Livening up a bit? Livening up a bit? Oh, yeah. oh, bloody killer, I will. Bloody killer. Bleeding Philistine. Livening up a bit. thing out. What thing? I fully accept that I'm IC transport and therefore responsible for maintenance. <laughs> However, I must ask you to accept that the transport was working perfectly well last night. Miriam. I... Roger? Shut up. Roger. Shut up. Thank you so much. Miriam, I don't ask for much. In fact, all I ever ask for is peace of mind and a certain amount of practical backup. But there are times, Miriam, Oh, there are times. Love you. OK, fair enough. Love you too, darling. Super. What are they like, then, these people? I'm not talking to you. Suit yourself. In fact, I'm not talking to you ever again. Oh, my mum will be pleased. She said you were a little twerp, and I agree with her. But before I don't talk to you again, I'll just say this. You don't criticise my cooking, I don't criticise your cement. Oh, he's upset. I am bloody upset. Oh, his little body's gone all rigid. Let me give it a cuddle. Go out of it, you silly great thing. Many more times I cannot stand violence. Oh, hello, Rod, Miriam. This is Maggie. Hello. Hello, Maggie. Well, <laughs> it's very nice to meet you at last. Isn't it, Rog? What? Oh, yes. I told you she was big, didn't I? Oh, I'm not that big, am I? Anyway, you like me big, you know you do. Get off, you silly cow. Mm. <sighs> Look what she gets herself up in. Oh, I hate drafts, don't you? Pardon? Sitting in a field bound to get drafts. Well, if you just excuse me, I've just finished getting my things together. Do you want a hand? Oh, thank you so much. Not compulsory. <laughs> Rog. We don't all want to stand out here, do we, darling? Neighbours might think we're holding some sort of rally. Got any idea why it won't start? Uh, no. Um, no. Who tried giving it a push? Oh, 
Oh. We'll get in then. I'll give it a push. Don't know about. She's bigger than I am. She can give it a push. I don't mind. Where do you want it? She wouldn't know. Great soft tart. Don't you dare. You'll hurt yourself. Oh, I love him. Don't you just love him? Come here, you. I'm gonna give you a kiss. Get off that. Come here. Get off. Come here. Come here. Good job. Good <laughs> job. If I might suggest, um, the important thing is, um, is to to unload this car into into that car. Great thinking, Rog. I told you I had a mind like a steel trap, didn't I? Mm, just like a steel trap, he said. Oi, go and talk to Miriam. Go on, tell her what you said about my soup swasser maze. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of interest, Kev. What's this? She's mending it for a brother. Oh. Ah, the thing is, Rog, <coughs> we've got a bit of a problem. It seems to me we can either move this one forward or this one back. You're the captain, your decision. What do you reckon? Hmm. I've heard all about you, of course. Oh, that's nice. I hope. All about you and your fantastic spreads. Well, you've chosen a super day for it. We thought he was hiding you away or something. <laughs> Why would he want to do that? No, it's just a figure of speech, actually. I didn't, um... Saturdays, I usually do some work on the house. Yes, yeah, getting said. That's why I don't mind him playing with silly cricket. Gives me a chance to get on. Yes. They are inclined to get under your feet, aren't they? Mm. Especially when they're as little as he is. Little but perfect. Oh, I love him. <sighs> right. Super. Now, the thing is to move this into there. Oh. They usually come, then, the women. Oh, it depends, really. Some do, some don't. Depends, really. Well, I have to. I oh, know that sounds awful. I mean, I don't have to. I enjoy it, really. When uh, it's a home match, I do the catering, and uh, when we're away, you know, like today, I, uh, well, I do the chauffeuring. <laughs> you know, well, Roger likes to have his little jar. You can't be too careful, can you? <laughs> <laughs> My little kid's off the beer at the moment. That's why he's so empty. <laughs> We've always done things together, actually, ever since college. We're very lucky. No touch wood. We enjoy being together, you know, sharing things. Sort of equal partners, as it were. It's rather super, really. Miriam! Yes, darling? <laughs> Chop. Now, seating plan as follows. Girls in the back, chaps in the front. Bit naff, innit? Oi, you do not argue with the captain's seating arrangements. Please don't chop-chop me, Roger. It's bad enough in front of the children. Your little body looked really terrific when you were loading that car. Really terrific. I tell you what, tonight, I'll be Princess Wasserman and you can be my financial advisor. Yeah, I think you great <laughs> lump. <laughs> Okay, Kev. Roll them. They do know we're not coming back, do they? Oh, what? Oh! They do know we're going to my brother's. What brother? Her brother. What about her brother? Your brother, sorry. That's why I'm coming to this rotten cricket match. What is? She's mended her chest of drawers, I said. That one. Oh, what? 
what exactly did you have to do to it? Oh, nothing much. Blow up a few joints, replace one of the draw linings, bit of polishing. Wait, wait, just a minute, just a minute. Are you saying that after the game... We're going straight on to our brothers, right? So what you're saying is... You'll have to make your own way home. I thought I made that clear when you phoned up, Skipper. Well, with you, Miriam. If you please. Thanks. This is all your fault. You do realise that, Lily. I really don't think that's very fair, Roger. Miriam, we'll talk about this later. In the meantime, I have to clear up this mess. Your mess, Miriam. Change of plan. I'll go ahead with Kevin and, um... Maggie. 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 You, Miriam, will stay behind, get the car fixed and follow on. If, for some extraordinary reason, you can't get it fixed, which you had better, I shall obtain a lift home from someone else. All right, Mim? OK? Fair enough? Yeah, fair enough, Roger. Not exactly as I planned, but then try as I might, I can't be expected to take on board every responsibility. Miriam! Tell you what, I'll stay here and keep Miriam company. Yeah, that's favourite. Keep you out of mischief. Oh, well, look, it's not compulsory, you know, but, uh... All right, Rog? Uh, yes, super. Come on, Kev. Behave yourself. <laughs> Stung me, what a palaver. <laughs> right then, Miriam, what are we going to do about this rotten old car? Motorway, isn't it? What? Oh, yes, yes, super. The thing is, Kev, if they can't get the car fixed, how will Miriam get to the match? Stand on me, Rog, Maggie will fix it. What did you do? Start note was jammed. <gasps> Wonderful. Oh, yeah, she's a dab hand with engines, is Maggie. But she's an even dab around with improvising. Last week, for example, we're out in the middle of nowhere and the fan belt goes. Have you got a spare? No, of course we haven't. So what she does is she improvises with a pair of tights. You know, she sort of wraps them round and makes a, like a temporary fan belt until we get to the garage and she can do the job properly. Bit of tights, eh? That's brilliant. Not that brilliant, Roger. I've only worn them twice. My sister says it's common to wash your hands in the kitchen sink. Oh, heavens. That's my youngest sister, Marilyn. My oldest sister, Rosie, chalk and cheese. Wash her hands anyway if she would. <laughs> Smashing girl on Rosie, you'd love her. Yes, she sounds fun. Your fence looks a bit dodgy. Yes, it's on the list, actually. And the thing is, Maggie, I wonder if we shouldn't be on our way. I mean, it's not compulsory, but... Come on, then, Miriam. Let's go and watch these boys knock their silly little ball about. Oh, there's more to it than that. <laughs> Much more. I'll be very honest, Kev. There are times I don't understand her. I don't, I just don't understand her. There's a lot of aggravation. She doesn't listen, Kev. Does it what? Doesn't listen. All right. OK, all right, fair enough. Maybe I am something of a perfectionist, but... If only she'd listen, she might learn something. Right. Well, my one's just the same. Maggie, I say, fetch a bucket of coal. Fetch a bloody thing yourself, she says. And do you know what, Rog? Rain or shine, I have to haul myself up off that sofa, drag myself out of the garden. I mean, don't misunderstand me, Kev. I mean, we're very much a couple, very much in love. Always have been, always will be, give or take. But, oh, sometimes, Kev. That's a mystery, isn't it? Next turn off, right? Uh, all right. I oh, to then. Um, uh, hang on, I'll um, I'll have a look at the map. Would you mind reading the map for me, Maggie? Right. Yeah, it's on the back seat. Oh, it's all right. I've got one of my own. I think the first thing we do is head for the motorway. Motorway. Gotcha. Super. Is that the map Roger gave Kevin? As far as I know, yeah. Oh dear. Oh, dear, what? Well, if I've got Roger's map and you've got Kevin's... Oh, yeah, see what you mean. Nasty. No answer. I knew it. Look at this. My best fish slice. He's only been using it to scrape wallpaper. Look at the state of it. I'll kill her. I will, Roger. I'll kill her. Now, then, as I see it, if they're not at home, the chances are they're on their way, if I uh, see... What's it? Maggie. Uh, Maggie, yeah, has mended the car. She will have. 
So all we got to do is sit tight, and sooner or later they'll bowl up. Mm, always assuming they're following the map correctly. But why wouldn't they do that? Well, you know, Kev, women. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Women. Roger always says to the children when they go camping and such like, if in doubt, return to base. That's his golden rule. My little Kevin's got one of them. If in doubt, sit on your behind and let some other twerp do the running about. And believe me, Miriam, that's exactly what he'll be doing. Clock coming! No, it's not them, it's a BMW. It's Dennis. I'm sure, it's Dennis. Yes! It's Dennis in his new BMW! Good old Dennis! Right, you bugger! It's the last time you go in at number five! Number seven from now for you, matey! Does that mean I'll be going in at number six, Rog? Ah. Oh. Well now, old son. Tricky. Beats me why they can't find their own stupid way. Ah, oh, yes, but it's the first time they've played at this ground, which is why Roger drew the map. Stone me, what the lava. <sighs> Isn't that your chest of drawers? Yes, it is, and there's Roger. Oh, there you go, you see. Super. haven't you? Would you excuse us just for a moment? <laughs> Roger, please don't speak to me like that. Oh, I'm I'm Did you miss me? Not a lot. I'm off to have a cuddle, though. <laughs> Get off, you silly great tart. Apart from which, what have you been doing with my fish line? Mm. Come on, <laughs> Right, um, uh, the plan of action, uh, Miriam and I will lead off in the Volvo, Kevin and, um, Mrs. Kevin will, uh, follow up in the R4. Can I ask a question? Uh, yes. Who did that? Well, well. Change your plan. Kevin, Miriam and myself will proceed in the Volvo. Um, think me. What's it? Stanley. We'll attend to the R4 and then follow on. I'm not leaving her on her own. She might attack someone. Look at the time. No, I'll stay um, with Maggie. Miriam. No, I'm sorry, Roger. I really think I should stay with Maggie. Right. Well, come on, Kev. Behave yourself. You head off. <laughs> Oi. Love you. OK, all right, fair enough. Super. Love you too, darling. My map's in that car. Both maps are in that car. We won't be able to find the way. No. And we've got all the team gear. Oh, dear. I suppose I should tell Roger. I suppose you should, really. Still, it's not compulsory, is it? <laughs> 